This is a group of outstanding stallions at the licensing in Fairden 2015. They are being praised for their exceptional quality and high value for the breed. The stallion sold for a record price of 1.2 million euros was celebrated with standing ovations. What excites people so much about these horses and what does it look like from the perspective of the horse? What people admire is not always good for the horse's health. Let's have a look at the movements. They are purposely altered by breeding to such a degree that modern horses are hypermobile. This is especially visible during trot. Trot is a two-beat motion. Here are the various stages in a pencil drawing. It's apparent the legs move diagonally and parallel. There are always two legs on the ground, with the exception of the movement in midair, when all four legs leave the ground. To be successful in dressage competitions, horses are expected to do spectacular movements, especially with their front legs. Therefore, the horses are bred with increasing thrust from the hind legs. Over years of breeding, this thrust has become so overpowering, it's now forcing the horses onto their front legs. They thereby lose their natural motion. The two-beat motion has been lost long ago. Modern horses show a different movement, the one-legged trot. These stallions shown here are only examples. All of the stallions licensed in 2015 are showing this motion without exception. And these stallions are supposed to sire future generations of saddle horses? All of the stallions moved with a one-legged trot. When two legs touch the ground, the fetlocks sink to the ground. The hypermobility of these young stallions is not limited to the fetlocks. The back is affected too. Even the hoof seems to be flying off the unstable joint. Stop breeding for thrust and hypermobility. For the benefit of horses, concentrate on carrying capacity and stability. This is how Hanoverian stallions looked 25 years ago, with harmonic proportions and a controlled thrust. The thrust was transferred from the hind legs into the back and out of the withers into the neck. This archive photo shows, with this kind of motion, the neck is not as high held as nowadays, but slightly lowered. Even at the moment in midair, when all legs leave the ground, they are held parallel. 